Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Sepulla and you are watching Sepulla engineer at site youtube channel. So guys, sorry, today our video is the, a guidance video for fresh engineer or experienced engineer. People, engineers who want to come to Saudi Arabia are they already come here. So here uh, I will try to guide you in a proper way. The first thing, if the people or engineers who are living in their own countries they didn't come here and they want to come to Saudi Arabia but they are confused which type of visa they have to uh, apply and what should be the professions for this I already updated uploaded the detailed videos but here in short I will tell you about this the visa and process and profession the first thing they the people are coming here on two visa one is Azad visa or open visa uh, by which you have to make agreement with the kafil and other is uh, agreement visa with company directly so guys if you are going to apply for the azad visa and, and you have experience the azad visa is good for the people who has a experience minimum three or four years so it's a, a good option because when you come in azad visa you can find a, a job of your own choice so for azad visa now it's come that which type of profession you have to choose in the azad visa in case if you choose a technician electrician plumber or any other technical uh, profession in your visa when you come here so you have to give the Saudi course of engineer exam for that to get the ikama and also you have to get the registration so the best thing and the best profession for azad visa holders are general labor there is no headache for a Saudi Council engineer. There is nothing to apply there. When you get your five year experience, then you can easily apply to the Saudi Council of Engineers and registration. After that, you can change your profession, whatever you want. And every company will happily take you in their company when you have a general labor uh, profession. The second thing, the agreement visa. If you want to come on agreement visa, so you can get it there are a lot of recruitment agencies in india pakistan and in each and every country so you and they have their own websites facebook pages linkedin profiles and and also you can get this job in daily newspapers so whenever you sign a advertisement for the job so you have to contact that recruitment agencies you have to submit your document and cv to them after that they will call you for the interview and after that all the responsibilities for the visa uh, processing ticketing everything should be the company and recruitment agency's responsibility and you have to pay them their fees and the azad visa you can also get it from these recruitment agencies or from any traveling agencies if you have any relatives with this can also arrange the azad visa for you this was the thing for the visa and profession now if you have a more than five year experience then you can also get, come in any other uh, profession of your own choice and your is your based on your qualification now if you already come here or you are in Paga in your own country but now you are thinking that how I we have to submit the CV to recruitment agencies and to the R if you are in Saudi Arabia to how to uh, submit your CV and which type of CV you have to submit to the recruiters. The first thing if you are living in Saudi Arabia and you are here and you are going to uh, you are in the search of a job so the first thing put your all experience in a KSA there will be no problem we bought the certification experience certificate or any other headache just put your uh, all the experience in KSA and when you get a call try to convince the recruit uh, the interviewer so they will never ask you for certificate because I'm here working since three years and no one asked me an interview for the experience certificate and if you need you can also get the experience certificate from anywhere and if but if, if you are in your home country and you are going to apply to the uh, for the jobs then read the caption or uh, description of the advertisement if they need the saudi experienced people they don't apply there if they need a place and they didn't ask for saudi or Gulf experience then submit your cv as per their requirements when you are going to make your cv please read the description of the job advertisement and make your cv as per that description then inshallah you will get the response and the main thing if you are in uh, saudi arabia so put your all experience in saudi arabia to get a uh, response from the recruiters now how you will search the job what are the best websites or what are the sources to search a job in saudi arabia the best website is expatriate website www.expatriate.com 
this is the best website if you want to search a job if you want to search a uh, accommodation if you want to search you want to sell your uh, cars any, any other material you want to buy purchase any other material you can get any and everything in especially at websites and this is also a bit best website to search a job you here you will find uh, companies recruiters and also suppliers and now if you want to work in saudi arabia so here you can get a job in subcontractor main contract and consultant two with the two sources one is the supplier source and one is direct with the company for the suppliers they will uh, take you and that this is the best and easy source to get job easily because they will try to get their job for you because it's if it, their uh, income is also related to your job because they take uh, their they have agreements with the company to bring men for for them but the main one thing with the supplier you will get your salary late one thing or two thing or two months later as compared to the working directly with the companies and if you are sending emails and CVs so please be careful about the sending emails try to send your emails try to contact the recruiters and working hours and working days if you call them or if you contact them uh, regardless the working hours are working days so they will never respond to you and maybe they will become rude to you so it's good thing to contact them in working hours and working days so guys this is uh, if you find my video informative so please like our video if you need any other information comment it in the comment box and give your feedback in the comment box and subscribe our youtube channel share with your friend thank you so much